when I started ministry, B.O.M.A. had not become born again. He had not been born again when I started. He was still in Selah. What God cannot do does not exist. It's not the truth. People think I'm jealous of Jereze. Jereze is by, by, by far my... It's not about sentiment. It's about knowing what the truth is. I believe in miracles. Listen, MSP Bidias, you will never see this man here reply anybody. Yeah. For me, no problem. Attack, I've been used to it. This man has gone into bitterness. So, a man who became popular during the Sitatome, the compulsory health Sitatome. I'm talking about the COVID. Yeah. A lot of um, people got to realize their potentials during that period. Some people, it was their set time, time for them to shine, time for them to be known. Like, we all have our set time, of course, in life. There is always season for everything. I'm talking about Jerry Eze. Jerry Eze became popular during the Setatome. He made use of social media. And um, in that period, people were in that uh, space. They needed to get themselves involved in something. I, I mean, take your mind away from your routine, from what you normally do. So Jerry Eze became popular during that period. And he has a slogan, what God cannot do does not exist. Well, he kept on and he gathered a lot of followers, particularly the Gen Zs who um, jumped on it. And uh, Jerry Eze is more about uh, uh, prayer and uh, pronouncement and utterances that depict this enemy and that person, you know, that kind of thing. So he really made use of that and he did get a lot of people to follow him, he did all of that. So recently, he went to the United Kingdom and there is this miracle that has caused a lot of uh, you know, talk here and there. And I don't blame people for this. That's because we have been fed with fake prophecies, fake healing. You go to a church and uh, you see new crutches and you're wondering like, did these people buy crutches in the same location did these people um, did they um, were they born disabled or they got disabled at the same time like are they using the same health care center uh, what is this blue crutches what is this yellow crutches what is this new crutches uh, what about this um, wheelchair how come this wheelchair is so new is that the church because the pastor does healing so they have um, crutches they have um, wheelchairs that they, they bought so whenever they go for prayers and crusade to make people know and see that these people are sick they will put you on crutches if you are partially disabled if you are quarterly disabled and <laughs> maybe you have just a, a sprain they put you on that wheelchair then the prayers are made and don't forget that each of those people have what they call handlers and they are called protocols or that's those are handlers those handlers if they don't do the right thing they are kicked off so it means you'll be telling your uh, patient let me put it that way um, hey, look, once a pastor speak, have faith, have faith, stand up. And with the frenzy, noise and clap, and uh, since everyone is heated up, people will believe that a miracle has um, happened. Now, the truth is this. Miracle happens in mysterious ways. You could stand up by faith and that's the end of it. Something just gets wired up in your brain and... That disabled person starts to walk. Yes. So that's why it's difficult for you to capture um, a liar, a fake healer. And don't forget that it is God that does the healing at the end of the day. I mean, the power of God that does it. But there is something called working of miracle. It is called working of it. Working of it. So it means that there is a work to it. There is something that needs to be done. So it is through a vessel. Jerese became that vessel in the United Kingdom. There is this little child that they claim she got healed now i'm not trying to ridicule miracles no but somehow the talk and everything it seems people are not clear about it like wait this child was uh, undergoing therapy and this child could do the exact thing that this child did right there on that ground 
There are people saying this. Now, does that mean what God cannot do does not exist? I'm talking about that. Let us um, invite in Abel Damina to talk a little bit about this. And then we'll also be listening to Pastor Jerry Eze. Do not forget to like and share. Do not forget to tap on the subscribe button. When I started ministry, BMA had not become born again. He had not been born again when I started. He was still in Selah. What God cannot do does not exist. It's not the truth. People think I'm jealous of Jerry Eze. Jerry Eze is by, by, by far my... It's not about sentiment. It's about knowing what the truth is. I believe in miracles. Mm. I believe in healing. Mm. But not this RNG that we're seeing today. Are you saying the miracles are RNG? Can't you see most of those crutches are all the same color? They're all brand new. In what world will people come for a crusade and all of them are carrying the same brand of crutches? Why are you asking for tithe? If you read the book of Acts, nobody paid tithe to anybody. Jesus didn't pay tithe. Jesus didn't receive tithe. All the disciples of Jesus had professions. So all of this idea that because God has called you, you must mm. resign your job. Mm. I don't know where they're bringing it from because it's not Bible. That, I, was the, I was a master in that gospel. It will. Some of them is my template they're using. Mm -hmm. Yes, because there are video, there are videos of you saying that me. if you don't pay your tithes, me. divorce will come for I you. I was Baba. So when did this change? Did your format cast? It was a gospel that started by saying, "Men of God should not be poor, because God is not poor." Mm. And it started making sense. Mm. And then we started seeing some men of God raising money and living better. So we also wanted to live better. Listen, MSPPDs, you will never. See this man here reply anybody. I don't have that kind of time. I don't have time. I don't have time. People, look at the arranged miracle. No, she was never on a wheelchair. Look at the parents saying she kaya bad. Pop over here. Over here. The wheelchair. Pastor, there are more people. When I saw him attacking even a young boy in Abuja, I said, this boy is too small now. This boy is our junior. If you have anything against him, call him as a small boy and say, young boy, why do you have to attack young boy? You attack people like Adeboye, you attack Kumuyi, you attack Oedekpo. For me, no problem. Attack, I'll be used to it. This man has gone into bitterness. He has gone into heavy envy. Many of you don't know. That man was at the top. But he sees small boys rise up. So the thing, he can't stand it. That's the biggest problem he has. He doesn't understand love. He's, he has got this scripture is for him, jealous and envy. He's so jealous. RNG men of God, you know they surprise them because now them plan them. The same color of crutches, the same color of wheelchair. And it be like say, wheelchair don't disappear. Crutch is no day town again. The moment I talk, it be like say, all of them just disappear. You know they pack and they gain. You know they pack and carry on. But when you say man of God, do it as if he's a superstar. Cooler. They don't arrange a job. They don't arrange a Now so they've been planning. You can only surprise if he misfire. When they misfire, you say, I say, who are you? There is a native doctor in your home. Who is a native doctor? I'm not aware. There is a native doctor in your family. Where do you come from? Don't give me some time, please. You're not acting in the spirit. <laughs> They were in idol worship. But God was healing them. They were in idol worship. God was providing them manna. They were in idol because God is merciful. It's his goodness that will lead you away from those things to repentance. So he will not stop lavishing goodness. But the fact that goodness of God is all over you is not a proof that you and God are in a relationship. He said, in my name they shall heal the sick. In my name they shall cast out devils. And I will say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I knew you not. Me and you never met. I didn't do miracles because you are powerful. I did miracles because I love man. And I did miracles because you called my name. And my name is salvation. I'm not doing it. See, when you see a man of God do miracles, it's not his power. Oh. The way they fool a lot of people is, when you see miracles, you think it's because the man of God is powerful. That's why miracles happen. Mba o. Mba. Iyo Ah ah. Bakaba. Otio. Eh? 
Yo. See, can I prove to you? Acts chapter 3. Let me destroy this table. Acts chapter 3, verse number. Hear about that. Acts 3, 11. When the lame man at the gate beautiful was healed by Peter and James. Read, read for me, baby. Acts 3, 11. And as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon. Next verse. Wondering. Next verse, girl. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men Watch, watch, Israel. watch, watch. These are the apostles of Jesus. The apostles of the Lamb that laid the foundation of the New Testament church. Peter, when he saw it, go ahead. He answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us? As though by our own power or holiness, we had made this man to walk. When people are healed, it's not the holiness of the man of God. And it's not the power of the man of God. It's God's mercy. God loves people. And anybody people believe in, God will pass through him to help them. But the fact that God helped them doesn't mean they know him. look here on us as though by our own power or our holiness to read the next verse and when peter saw it he answered unto the people ye men of israel why marvel ye at this or why look ye so earnestly on us as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk next verse the god of abraham and of isaac and of jacob the god of our fathers has glorified his son jesus whom he delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. Next verse. But he denied the Holy One and the just and desired... He used it to preach the gospel. He's preaching the gospel here. Go ahead, girl. But he denied the Holy One and the just and desired a murderer to be granted unto you. Next verse. And killed the Prince of Life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. Sixteen now. And his name through faith in his name hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know. Yea, the faith which is by him Wait. hath given him. Yea, the faith of the man of God. The faith which is by him had made him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Why are you looking at us? That's why sometimes if you speak to sincere men of God, when miracles happen, even the pastor is surprised. Except it's arranged. Arrange men of God, you know they surprise them because now them plan them. The same color of crutches, the same color of wheelchair. And it be like say, wheelchair don't disappear. Crutch is no day town again. The moment I talk, it be like say, all of them just disappear. They know they pack and they gain. They know they pack and carry on. Show man they don't waka. This is the day of Jesus. Well, you heard it all. What are your opinion or comments about this? Do not forget that um, religion is so powerful. What you believe in is so powerful. In fact, what you believe in is stronger than your emotions. It's stronger than your logic. It's stronger than your common sense. It will take a hold of you. You might even idolize a particular pastor. Oh, what are they saying? Who is it about Damina? What does it mean? Hey, this man is more Paul and Nietzsche. Oh, Jerry Eze. No, what does it mean? Is he trying to say the power of God does not exist? Just like how Pastor Abel Damina did not uh, see context to what Jerry is a said, what God does not, cannot do does not exist. Simply put, there is nothing impossible with God. I'm sure you have heard that. I'm sure you must have read it in the Bible. Well, I think maybe he was trying to correct the excesses where certain people put it into the minds of many Africans and this has made them less productive. They give back to 12 children and they say what god cannot do does not exist they say god will feed them no maybe you have faith and it worked for you what has been your experience so far are there things that human beings are supposed to do and not what god will do for you or rather is it to say god will empower me 
to do, what I have been appointed to do, or what I am supposed to do. What is the correct context? Don't forget that slogans repeatedly um, said could become vain, it could become empty, and also it could become dangerous. Meaning people will just take it on um, the face value rather than looking at the context of it. The pastors, um, some pastors have begin, they've started to say, no, don't spend too much time in church. Don't be less productive. And they will say, look at countries that you pray and fast that God's, God gives you visa to. Are they operating the same way you guys are operating? Or you think uh, religiosity will put food on your table or will make your life better? That God have already said, go into the world, dominate it. He's not going to dominate it for you. You must do it. And let us be sincere. If you don't pray and fast, I don't think you'll be able to manifest. So it means that you have to do something, right? You pray, you fast, you have hope, with it, which is called faith. So it means you have to do something. And it's not easy to fast. It's not even easy to pray. <laughs> what God cannot do does not exist.